Hey guys, another video from Rage RC Repair. We're going to talk about the Red Cat Kaiju um, and the steering rack and the issues that it has. Right here you can see that this one was super glued back together. Um, it had broken off right where the bolt holes go through. And it's just a, a somewhat thin, not really all that tough piece of metal. Yes, they make an aluminum upgrade for this, but what they don't do is they don't make it really much thicker than what's already here. Now I haven't really seen anybody that's bent these or broken these that were aluminum. Um, I've seen quite a few plastic failures. So what I went ahead and did is I machined, well not machined, just made this by hand out of some uh, 7075 aluminum stock. Or I'm sorry, 6061 aluminum stock. Um, I didn't have a big enough piece of 7075. So I carved it all out and made it six millimeters thick rather than the five millimeter thick piece of plastic. And uh, this radius that's cut in here is quite important because this is what makes it clear where the input shaft goes into the differential when it's in the truck like this. It faces that front differential somewhat sort of like that. So it's got to clear that spot. I'll give you a little better view. When it sits inside of the truck, it actually has to clear the differential pig. Um, and that's really important that this is carved out like this, or it would hit and you would have no steering. So as you can see right now, this is, uh, this is upside down. It actually sits in the truck this direction. But for sake of the video, I wanted to show how I did all this. I took the piece of aluminum and I cut it all out with a a sawzall and some uh, die grinder bits and then I raise these up these edges are raised one millimeter on each side to kind of give you the offset that you'd have here this is two millimeters but I didn't want to take that much material off because it was thicker or more strength and you can see a lot of times they fail right here as well and the aluminum ones I have I think I have seen a guy on uh, one of the forums say that his bent right here the aluminum one did so what I decided to do was get rid of that. Here's a good comparison. You can see how much of an angle is in here. And I got rid of that on the on the new one. So I'm hoping that all this will clear. I did measure this all back and everything to make sure I had some clarity and it's nice and thin. It goes down almost to nothing. But on the bottom, you still have all that extra strength because of this piece being tied together. I doubt that it would break here. It'd be pretty impressive if it, if it did because it's just from one wheel to another. Normally when you hit something or tumble, it's always on one side uh, where the force is being applied to the rack back and forth. Like if you tumble, it's going to be doing one of these numbers in the truck and the servo saver and everything should just allow that to be applied from wheel to wheel. So anyways, this is the new component. Um, I am going to attempt to get it in here and give you guys a little video of it functioning. And I hope that uh, it all works out. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Don't forget to subscribe smash the bell Lots more videos coming soon lots more kaiju parts that I'm looking at getting into building um, Also got some shredder stuff still. I'm waiting for some uh, answers from one of my machinists on those differential cases So hopefully some more custom upgrades are coming up soon. I'm looking at buying an end mill I'm gonna start making some of my own simple stuff like this myself uh, If you guys are interested in some of those parts, let me know Thank you